hi today let us discuss about speed time and distance as we know that speed time and distance the rule is uh, distance is equal to speed into time that is uh, distance is directly proportional to the speed and distance is directly proportional to the time but the speed and time are indirectly related means if one is increases the other is decreased this is the basic rule that we all need to know and in this we have average speed relative speed and running race and both sense teams let us see the model of the questions how it goes on and the first model is like x covers the distance from p to q at a uniform speed of 60 kilometers per hour and the distance from q to r at uniform speed of 40 kilometers per hour so there are two distances and two distances and their average speeds are also been mentioned over here now the question is what is our average speed for the entire journey if the ratio of the distances since the distances are not equal what is our rule for average speed average speed is equal to the total distance by the total time so it is about the total distance and the total time the ratio of the total distance and the total time let us mark the distance is 2 is 3 is to 2 as 3k and 2k so it is 3k plus 2k by now we know the distance we know the speed the 3k distance is moved at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour and 2k distance is moved at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour now let us solve this this is 320s this is 220s now 3k plus 2k is 5k k by 20 k by 20 is k by 10 actually 2k by 20 is k by 10 it is reciprocal kk gets cancelled and 5 into 10 is 50 therefore what is the average speed the average speed is 50 kilometers per hour this is about average speed if at all there are equal distances then what is average speed is equal to if at all there are equal distances of x and y kilometers per hour and the distance which has been traveled is equal then the rule is 2xy by x plus y kilometers per hour if the distances are equal you can directly use this formula since the distances are not equal we have used this formula let us see the next question this is one more excellent applicative kind of a question traveling at 4 by 5th of his usual speed let us assume the speed as s now the speed is 4 by 5th of the usual speed now what is the ratio 5 is to 4 so the usual speed is 5 and now the time the particular speed decreased is 4 when speed is 5 is to 4 according to the relation of speed and time now the relation over here is 4 is to 5 what happened the 4 by 5th of the usual speed a man is 15 minutes late by going like this the original time is t now the original time is late by 15 minutes that is extra 15 minutes so 4k and 5k the difference is 5k minus 4k is k t plus 15 by 60 minus t is 15 by 60 that is 15 minutes now what is the question asked what is the usual time to cover what is the usual time the usual time is 4k when k is 15 what is 4k 4 into 15 by 60 which is nothing but 4 15 is 60 so it's 1 hour so first option is our answer there is an excellent model on trains when we discuss before trains we need to know about the relative speed relative speed in the same direction if x and y and two particular speeds then the relative speed is x minus y kilometers per hour if at all it is opposite direction then it is x plus y kilometers per hour this is about the relative speed now a train leaves Hyderabad at 6 a.m. morning 6 a.m. traveling at 60 kilometers per hour another super express train leaves Hyderabad from 1 hour late traveling at speed of 75 so it, one is moving at 6 a.m. the other one is moving at 7 a.m. when and what distance from Hyderabad will they be together so since from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. it is of 1 hour in 1 hour the first train can travel 60 kilometers now the distance between the two trains is 60 kilometers 
since they are moving in the same direction from Hyderabad it is x minus y that is 75 minus 60 where 60 by 75 minus 16 is 15 60 by 15 is 4 hours that means after that means after 7 o'clock that is 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock 1 hour after 7 o'clock it has taken 4 hours to reach and each of them to be combined now 4 hours after 7 o'clock so 7 o'clock plus 4 hours is 11 a.m. so this is what 11 a.m. from 11 a.m. now is also asking about the distance so at the rate of 60 kilometers per hour 4 hours is how much 240 plus before already it has traveled 60 so how many kilometers 300 kilometers so from Hyderabad 300 kilometers at 11 a.m. they are going to meet each other or they can be together next question is on downstream and upstream the basic thing that we need to know whenever it is given the downstream speed that is x plus y is equal to 12 and uh, upstream speed x minus y is equal to 6 then what is x and what is y x is nothing but 12 plus 6 by 2 is 18 by 2 9 and 12 minus 6 by 2 6 by 2 is 3 so we can solve the two equations and you will get what is x and what is y so this is about the boats and streams an applicative question on boats and streams a man can draw a distance of 5 kilometers in 30 minutes whenever you can draw 5 kilometers is the distance and in 30 minutes which is nothing but the half an hour that is speed is 10 kilometers per hour now with the help of the tide means with the help of the water current over there the direction of the tide reverse with the same speed now the tide has been reversed now he travels a further 10 kilometers in 5 hours so 10 kilometers he is taking now 5 hours is taking now 5 hours but since if at all the question is how much time would he have saved if the direction of the tide had not changed if that all the direction of the tide had not changed his speed is 10 kilometers per hour so the 10 kilometers at 10 kilometers per hour the 10 kilometers at 10 kilometers per hour speed he can travel in only one hour previously it is taken 5 hours now it is taken 1 hour if at all the tide has been not changed how much time is he saving 5 minus 1 he is able to save 4 hours so that is the first option this is about the running race in a kilometer race whenever it is a kilometer race it is about 1000 meters A is able to run 1000 meters B, A beats B by 100 meters so B is able to run 900 meters and C by 110 so C is able to run 810 in a 500 meter race by how many meters does B beat C so when B is able to run 900 C is able to run 810 when B is able to run 500 C how much that's what the question is so B 500 C how much so 500 into 810 by 900 so it is 9 nine zero, 9 five is 45 450 meters so by how many meters does B B C 500 minus 450 is 50 meters so second option is 